Good morning, stampers and crafters. This is Tina from Tina's Crafting Spot. Today is another technique quickie day, and I'm going to show you how to create this beautifully colored leaf quickly. So, in our quickie, we are going to need our stamp, which today I'm using the Art Blue Layer, this beautiful leaf. This is one of Stampin' Up's distinctive ink stamps, so it does have, you know, some different shadowing on it, and that's going to look even better. Now, this one looks great when it's stamped in one color, too, but that's not our technique today. So we're going to bring in our stamparatus to this. We're going to play a piece of um, basic white. Mount your stamp. This is fun for a quick little card you may want to put together. I have the particular card I made with this quickie technique on my blog. Be sure to check it out. Um, we are then going to bring in some different colors. Today, I'm going to use Pacific Point. Some Just Jade Green. And, of course, my all-time favorite ink, Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to use some regular sponge daubers. Now, I do dedicate daubers to my different inks. So let's start with our lightest color first. Okay. So we'll start with our Just Jade. And what you're going to do is just randomly put some spots of ink on your stamp. So dab it on there. Okay. Maybe that had been the other one there. Now we'll go to our next color with the specific point and we'll add that in some of the blank spots trying not to go over what I've already put there with the jade And now we're going to bring in our Blackberry Bliss, and that's a very dark one, so you want to be careful to kind of just put it in your blank spots so that you don't cover what you've already got. I think I've got my stamp completely covered and let's see how it turned out and every time you do this technique it's going to be a new surprise now if you do this quick enough your ink's going to stay wet if you think you took too much time do the huffing technique and kind of that's where you breathe on your stamp to add moisture to your ink and then stamp voila how pretty is that? You can go back over with some of the colors, but it, you don't really want to because I think it just kind of makes it muddy. You know, pick your different color. You could do light greens, pinks, but you can stay in the same color family if you want it. But I think it came out just wonderful for a quick and easy, colorful card. And I hope you enjoyed today's quickie. You will find this particular card and the instructions and supplies on my blog. I hope you enjoyed today's technique quickie and you have a fabulous stampin' day. Stay safe out there. Bye bye now.